Alan Smith versus Matthew Bordelik. To those who don't know, they recently fought over in Saudi Arabia in the undercard of the rematch between Joshua and Uzik. Fight was shown live on the zone. You can watch the full fight on the zone right now. Fight lasted four rounds with Callum Smith scoring a devastating knockout on Matthew Bardalik, landing that big left hand, that big left hook that Callum Smith is known for. Huge, huge props to Callum Smith on my part. Um, going into this fight, I thought Matthew Bordley was honestly going to pull off the upset in a close fight. I was really impressed of the uh, last fight of Bordley that, you know, I thought he was going to go out there and pull off the win and pull off the upset win. Uh, but obviously, I was wrong. Uh, it was uh, from the get-go, from the beginning, it was a pretty good fight. A lot of really good exchanges between the two. Um, Bordley had moments here and there, same for Callum Smith. But in the end, you know, Smith was able to land that big left on board the league and eventually knock him out in the uh, fourth round uh, which nearly sent board the league off the ring and uh, and yeah board the league was not gonna get up I, I feel like board the league thought maybe him being that aggressive because he had some success being aggressive I think I can't remember exactly what round it was but uh, you know obviously in one of those few for, uh, one of the uh, first three rounds he, he was having some really good moments being aggressive and you know, he, he went out there in the fort and was very, very aggressive, got countered clean and uh, eventually knocked out. And um, and yeah, tough loss for Matthew Bordelik, but very, very good win for Callum Smith. And with this win, Callum Smith improves to 29-1. and one. Box Rec has yet to update it for some reason. 29-1, and one, 21 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. I gotta say, man, Callum Smith... For some reason, I felt like because of the Canelo fight, the Canelo fight created an image to me of Callum Smith being not as good as I remember him. Because <laughs> he watching this fight it made me remember, man, this is the Callum Smith I remember from years ago, before the Canelo fight. Um, I don't know, the Canelo fight, for some reason, he just, he, he did not look this good. Like, I don't know how the left hook wasn't working for him. Well, you know, but at 175 pounds, it looks like he's fresher, stronger, and uh, you know, in this fight, it was a very, very impressive win from Callum Smith, in my in my opinion. Matthew Bordelik suffers his second loss in his pro career. It's not the end of the world, in my opinion, for Matthew Bordelik. I know he's 33 years old, but you know, he can he can rebound, get back to the drawing board, and I think he'll have one or two more fights uh, in the t in the top 15, depending on who he fights when he fights them. Um, but with this win. For Callum Smith, he is now the mandatory challenger for the WBC belt. And if you look at the 175 pound division, um, the light heavyweight division, there are only three names who hold. There are only there's only two names that holds the belt. Uh, the belts are to Beterbiev and Bivol. Beterbiev holds that WBC belt, and now Callum Smith is the mandatory challenger. So uh, right now, Beterbiev is in talks to fight Yard early next year, and I'm assuming the WBC will order him to fight Callum Smith sometime next year. Unless Beterbiev fights Bivol or the winner of Bivol versus Jordan Ramirez. So, should be fun. So, fun future for uh, Smith. Uh, wh either he, whether he fights Bivol or Beterbiev or Zordo or Yard. Um, you know, it's, it, the, the future is looking bright for Smith in terms of who he will fight next. And uh, I just hope he does end up fighting one of these big names in the near future. So... If you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.